Hey guys, I'm so excited to be talking to y'all. I haven't posted, maybe in like a day. But I did film some videos yesterday. They just wasn't the right lighting and I was outside and y'all was recording for y'all outside yesterday and it was so creepy. But yeah, we back inside. But yeah, um, what I was talking about, like, just no matter how much the enemy and the devil tries to stop you from accomplishing accomplishing your dreams and your goals you have to keep going you have to stay focused and win in the face of adversity like even if you see something like trying to stop you or knock you down and like trying to make you not get to where you're going you got to stay you got to be able to identify it and you got to be able to move forward so yeah that's basically what i was just talking about you have to be persistent like you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable this is like the most i feel like this is like one of my most uncomfortable seasons in life that's how you know you're growing when you're uncomfortable um like that's how we push forward and become better because we're breaking out of our comfort zones and trying new things and just basically manifesting ourselves when you're just not in a place of contentment you're in a place of steady trying to be a better version of yourself have better character better morals um be more consistent and persistent on everything you want out of life um and you have to just see yourself in higher regards you have to be extremely comfortable and have extreme faith like faith without works is dead like not only do you have to have the faith but you also have to work for it you can't just expect things to just happen for you you have to put forth that effort into getting whatever you desire out of life like you can't just sit there and like oh okay it's gonna happen it's only gonna happen if you work for it god loves a person falls in love with a stubborn heart a person that won't give up no matter how long it takes they are diligent, consistent, and persistent. And they have insane belief in themselves. Like, that's the type of person that God falls in love with and just blesses so much. So, in this season in your life, you need to be at your top mentally, physically, and spiritually. You have to be so disciplined in all those three aspects that I just named mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, if you're going for anything out of life, you have to be disciplined in those aspects. You have to work on those things. Like you have to know how to like not let small things bother you. Let me turn my brightness up. It's a little better. Not let small things bother you, but you have to be able to say okay this is happening but when things are going wrong in life like i told y'all y'all gotta go right like you can't just allow something to just consume you and stop you and paralyze you from getting where you need to be in life like time is the most valuable commodity so you cannot waste time i don't care what's going on in your situation you cannot just sit there and just like okay i'll do it tomorrow you know tomorrow with tomorrow you're not gonna do it so why not get started right now god has blessed you with life and life abundantly you are awake you're walking you're talking you're breathing you're thriving so why not use that blessed time that god gave you in order to get what you desire out of life like that's what it's all about like and then like while you're on your journey while you're on your journey to success you have to have peace and joy in, inside of yourself you can't just let nothing stop you like oh well i'll be happy when i get this or i'll be happy when i get that or i have to be happy with it. you know you gotta be happy right now not even happy joyful because happy is a temporary emotion too just like saying it but that joy <laughs> that joy is something else like 
you could be going through your worst and your worst times, but God would just give you so much joy. Like, that's why I'm just it with life, just at peace with everything in my life and just going forward and manifesting myself to just be the highest version of myself. Like, really, truly, um, just taking drastic action on everything that I want. I'm not sitting back and like, oh, okay, I'm gonna get this, blah, blah, I'm gonna get this tomorrow, I'm gonna get this. Just like, um, for example, me, like, y'all know I have a business, so today I'm, I have to go out and get, like, an outfit and stuff to wear for, um, like, when I go shoot, like, a video, like, marketing my hair products. But it's like, you all, you always have, like, that negative thought in your mind, like, oh, I'm not going to do it today. I'll do it tomorrow. How am I going to go? <laughs> How am I going to do it tomorrow? Like, get um, my outfit and stuff tomorrow when I'm supposed to shoot a video tomorrow. Does that make sense? No. So, I have to literally go today. Because <laughs> it's like, okay, at first I was saying, like, I wasn't going to do the video tomorrow. If I don't do it tomorrow, I'm never going to do it. Period. So I have to do it tomorrow. Like, you can't keep pushing out your goals for a later date. Time is not promised to nobody. So you have to literally get up and take charge of your life. Take initiative. If God sees you getting up every day and working on your dreams and your goals, being a better person, having a better character, um, just being positive. When you're in your worst, your worst times, you being positive and you speak a life into other people and you speak a life into yourself and choose to be positive no matter what you're going through, God will tremendously bless you. And that's like basically just the, what I was talking about yesterday. I filmed that video literally twice yesterday. One was outside. <laughs> it was so freaking hot and creepy. I was in my backyard. It was just creepy. I, like, I, he I kept like hearing something walking. I'm like, let me go get in my car because I had filmed it like right when I was about to go somewhere. I jumped. I did that video. And I jumped in my car. That video was funny. Literally funny. Tea. But yeah. I love y'all. And I'm about to start. This is another business that I'm actually about to start doing. Like taking um private calls to just um I'm doing motivational calls privately and I'm doing um advice on entrepreneurship because i have been an entrepreneur since i was like mm, 14 15. that's when i had like my very first business i was 15 so i can give you advice on that um just words of encouragement how to stay at peace and keep going and stay positive in the midst of adversity when you're at your lowest and your lowest like I can definitely give a lot of encouragement about that. And like life coaching calls, like period. I'm open to it. Also, make sure y'all email me. And if y'all haven't shopped my hair, let me turn my brightness up. And let me see. So if y'all haven't shopped my hair um products, y'all need to go shop right now. Let me show y'all. It's so long. 